So Ralph Waldo Emerson said that there's three kinds of readers. There's a sponge, there's a jelly bag, and the Golconda. Now I know probably two out of those three words, you don't even know what they mean, because I didn't either. He's from the 1800s, but I'll explain. So first, the sponge. So you would think that like, oh, I wanna be a sponge. But the way he describes a sponge is somebody who absorbs, but then spits it back out just a little dirtier, right? Think about a dirty sponge, right? It absorbs, that when you squeeze it, like the stuff that you absorbed doesn't just come out by itself. All the nasty germs and junk that's inside the sponge comes out too. So if you're a sponge type reader, you're somebody who reads stuff, but like when you represent it or try to deliver it, your delivery is all wrong or you really didn't understand it or you jacked it up with a bunch of other stuff that got it all mixed up in your head and the way you try to share it with somebody just doesn't deliver. You see what I'm saying, dude? So it's like, don't even bother, dude. You don't wanna be a sponge. The jelly bag, <laughs> so you're probably like, well, what the hell is a jelly bag? So do you ever see like, uh, like, a bake, like a bakery? They would have like this big bag where they would squeeze out like jelly or they would squeeze out like uh, frosting or something, right? Like if you watch like Cake Boss or something, big bag, right? And they would squeeze stuff out. Well, what do they do? They fill that bag up with stuff. Why? So they could spit it back out as it comes. And so he says that uh, a jelly bag reader is not any fun either, right? Uh, and he, it, by the way, I'm sharing this because Ralph Waldo Emerson says you read in order to write, meaning you, you take in information so that you can deliver it, right? You're not just reading for your own uh, you know, selfishness. But he says that a jelly bag draws in the information and it just spits it back out the way it got it. So he's like, that's no fun either. It's like you're just regurgitating what you heard somebody else say. You're just taking in that book and you're spitting it back out. There's no creativity whatsoever. So you wanna stay away from those guys. You don't wanna be a jelly bag either. He says the best kind of reader though is a Golconda. Maybe you know what a Golconda is, but I had no idea what he was talking about. But basically it's like a big sieve, a big shifter thing, right? Like what they would use when they go out and they'll find gold in the river, like in the 18, what is it, the, the, the 49ers, right? 1849, right? When they would go out and they're in a gold rush, a gold rush out west. And so they would have these big, uh, like you could just imagine like a, a screen, like a plate with a screen on it. And I think that's what they call the Golconda. But the way he describes what a Golconda is makes it more clear. He says basically you, you, you take in a lot of stuff, but you shake out all the garbage and just the gold. You just take the gold out, the gold bits, the gold pieces is what make you rich, bro. So when you read, and remember I told you yesterday about my reading style where I just listen? When I'm listening, I'm being a Golconda because I'm just ignoring half of the stuff I'm listening to. I listen while I'm working out, while I'm walking, and while I'm, you know, recreation, I guess you could say. But I'm ignoring a lot of what I hear until I hear that gold piece, gold, right? When I hear gold, I stop, I stop the audio book, I look at the time or I look at the chapter and then I go to the book itself and that's when I start. I take out my gold pen, my gold highlighter and I start highlighting stuff. So I'm a Golconda. Be a Golconda. That's the best kind of reader. Done.